Hey, what's up, guys? It is Selly. We are on board the Bat Cove 390, and we are moving forward with the underwater lighting portion of this. Now, as we mentioned, we are using the Macris Industry Chroma Lighting. Now, that's a totally different lighting than probably what you're used to seeing out there. So, uh, got a little sample right here I want to show you guys. First of all, you notice it's a very thin light. Um, this is the back side. This gets mounted to the hull. This literally just gets glued to the hull, for lack of a better term, with uh, you know, 4200, 5200, Cicaflex, whatever your uh, schmoo of choice is there. And the only thing really penetrating through your hull are these wires right here. So very small hole actually through the hull, no screws to hold it in. And um, so it's a little easier in that effect. But what really sets these lights in particular apart here are, let me see, set this down and show you guys here. Take a look at it. It's got a blue protective coating on it for install purposes, but you see we kind of peel it away here. You can see in these lights here, you can actually see those are all of our LEDs. And you see right here where it says effect flow and there's an arrow. So these lights, when they are installed, need to be mounted in a certain way. In this case, we want to mount them, you know, there's our wire, we want to mount them like this, and all of them mounted this way, so that our effect flow here is going from uh, right to left. If you swap one of these around and have it going the other way, now the effect flow of the light is going to go from here, and then to here, and then the next light over will go back. It'll give a zigzag effect. It won't look really good. So. Um, we're going to show you what this whole finished chroma active lighting looks like here once this is all done and installed. Um, but it's, it's a really cool, it's something different. It can give us a, a sweeping light show instead of just a static, you know, RGB lighting. It's going to be able to give us a really cool effect and uh, really can't wait to get this all installed here. Get these all glued up. Once they're all on, we'll go ahead. We'll give you a little test run here in the shop just to show you kind of what they do. But what we're really looking forward to is this spring getting the boat in the water. We'll throw the drone up. We'll get some really cool nighttime shots and really show you guys this Macris Industries chroma lighting and why that's a little bit different than what everybody else is doing. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So, that's it. We got, uh, you know, holes getting cut in the dash. Uh, I think uh, Garmin, one of the Garmin displays is in, wiring's getting done. The Syrah Marine over there, that's all hooked up. And uh, we found out some good news. There is actually enough depth in the overhead for the Fusion Signature speaker, so we're not going to have to do any trim plates for that. So we're going to get the speakers mounted. So everything's really coming together on this install on day three here. As always, you guys know the spiel. You guys want to stay up to date, want to stay in the know on the Marine information tip text and trends give us a follow at navtronics.com and uh that's it that's all i got until next time guys peace